Uh, we can stay in division. Uh, I mean, we can go to Boston if you want. Yeah, let's um, go to Boston. That's where I was thinking. Let's start with the fam trade. Um, strongest guy in baseball, by the way. Toughest guy. Never <laughs> want to fight him in a street fight. Um, yeah, actually, I do. Fight. Tommy. Tommy hit me up. Um, <laughs> who? What was the return on that? It's just a player to be named later. It was literally nothing. They were like, get him off of our team, please. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, I understand it. I would do the same. I'm just surprised Boston took him. It's because uh, uh, Fenway, like, the monster's so tall that he can't scale it mid-game to shank a fan. So I think really that's the only reason they accepted it. Uh, uh, we could talk about Hosmer. I mean, what Boston's kind of done this trade deadline has kind of completely confused me. Uh, they like we even look at the uh, Christian Vasquez trade, sending Vasquez to Houston. Um, it, it's just kind of. I understand you're probably not in the playoff race anymore. Again, you still are making moves where you're half buying, half selling. Uh, in reality, if I'm the Boston owner, I'm looking at maybe firing my GM unless they truly make a playoff run. Like I understand you've got a chance to take Hosmer um, with the whole Washington San Diego no trade clause debacle. Um, and, but uh, you give up. Greatest decision ever made in national. Or, well, no, you, you were, <laughs> but yeah, yeah. I mean, you're able to get. Uh, you're able to give up Hosmer. Um, it just yeah, doesn't make sense to me. It, it was a weird one. It seems like they were. I mean, they are obviously blowing things up because they they aren't doing great this year. Trading Vasquez away, um, then trading Deekman away, um, which I get because I mean they have to replace Vasquez so. I mean, they got Reese Reguire, who's actually a co-founder of our advert for this uh, podcast. Uh, Remy's Sperm Bank, you jack it, they pack it. Guaranteed service in 15 minutes or less. Um, so I think it's a good move for Boston. I think Reese, businessman at heart. Um, so I think he'll fit in real well in Boston. I think, um, <laughs> yeah, McGuire... Yeah, look, so if you're Boston, right, you've made the big moves if you've signed Hosmer, a fine first base guess, but he's only around for three more years. I can't imagine they're going to be super competitive in that time. Why are you just going to crank one out in a Walmart parking lot, like literally? So, And I, the, the timing you're for this discussion is maybe a little tickets. bit on the nose, but whoever named Sperm Banks... Right? Why didn't we name them get a load of this guy? <laughs> just, <laughs> just feels like. <laughs> I'm just, sorry, Dennis. It just feels Hardcore like... viewers. <laughs> Comment sperm bank. <laughs> if you made it 53 minutes into this, I commend you. Yeah, um, um, it's fine. And we'll give you. Uh, We'll Double let you read an ad on the next uh, podcast. <laughs> Not happening. I do, yeah. but on on a real side though, for Hosmer, I think every infielder for Boston is very excited about that move because. I do not think this year they've actually had a guy play first whose primary position was first. True. Um, so, uh, shout out Frenchy Cordero. I do not think that man should be allowed on the field to play defense for the rest of his career. Um, so yeah, I, I get it uh, for them. Uh, I also shout out Eric, big fan. Thank you for saying no, going to the nationals. I did not want to pay that contract. Uh, even though I know San Diego is actually going to pick it up, which was weird, but thank you for saying no. I, so they're, that's like, they're the not Boston, picking up all uh, of it, right? Uh, no, San Diego, er, it's like 80, 20 or something. San Diego what? is picking up a lot of that. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm. That's what I'm trying yeah, to say. I don't. I mean, they. I mean, I get that they wanted to get rid of Hosmer because he sucked, and Bell is what his line. The Shay is like hitting like two eighty something as a switch hitter. Uh, good power numbers. Um, okayish defense. Um, so I get it why they got rid of him, but I am surprised at how much money they're picking up out of Hosmer's contract because I think all of his contract is player options. So. As a guy who's like hitting below 200, I'm gonna pick up my option every year, give me 16 <laughs> million. Um, so the thing yeah. that Bale's track is it was front loaded, 
Uh, so it's like 11 million these last three years. But even that, like he's a premium defender. But uh, the bat is just not yeah. it. And honestly, I mean, Boston's not going to compete for a while. So maybe that gives him time, no pressure. He picks that hitting back up and gets traded back to a contender. So. Yeah. Rangers legend. Jake yeah, but at the same time, how old is he now? I'm old. Like old, old. Baseball. It, it, exactly. So I, I don't think he's gonna. I think he's gonna have a Joey or a Joey Votto type end of his career, like at best. Joey Votto TikTok legend. So I don't think uh, I don't think he he's on. Yeah, I don't think he's on a contending team and anymore the rest of his career. I don't. I I only say that because even at thirty two, plus defender, I don't think that's gone anywhere recently. Um, it has a little, like, I've seen some bad stuff in San Diego. But good defender, if he can even hit, like, 260, maybe hits a couple homers, and to have the veteran presence who has won a World Series already, maybe he gets picked up for a contender if he's a good clubhouse guy. Okay, let me pose a question. Okay. Are y'all surprised? Or not surprised that J.D. Martinez did not get traded. I really thought he'd go somewhere. I feel like I thought a contender would take him. I did too. I think the league has looked at the uh, the injury recovery from Martinez and just thought no. Because he has not had the same pop since coming back. Uh, and he's not a good defender. So you're DHing a guy with like less power. And that's not yeah. to say he has no and power, I'm- but... I'm sure Boston was probably asking something way too high for him as well. Well, what did they ask for, like, two top 15 prospects for your organization? Are you going to give it to him for JD? I don't because they got quite a bit from Vasquez. Uh, I don't know. I think if somebody in the league thought he was good, they would have given him up, given stuff up for him. But I just don't think the league thinks as a whole. No, I completely agree. 